Do you sometimes wonder when EVs will charge faster than it takes to get gas? And which energy storage type will win the race in mobility? I'm Kata, grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about it. Solid state batteries have already been in use for a long time in small devices such as RFID tags and pacemakers. More recently, they've been in use in public passenger buses in Germany. So why aren't they in every electric vehicle in the market yet? Let's find out how solid state batteries work why car and battery companies are chasing them, what their challenges are, and what's happening in the market. Please subscribe below, it's free and you can always change your mind. Feel free to skip to a specific part of the video by using the timestamps and let's get started. A conventional lithium battery cell consists of three layers, a positive electrode or cathode, a negative electrode or anode, a porous polymer separator that keeps the electrodes apart, and two electric contacts, one at each electrode. The electrodes are made of particles that are capable of storing energy. The entire cell is flooded with a liquid that serves as the electrolyte, the medium through which lithium ions travel. Let's zoom in to look at what happens inside the cathode electrode particles. Each cathode particle is made of a lithium-containing metal oxide, such as lithium manganese cobalt oxide, commonly known as NMC. These elements form a stable structure to hold the lithium ions when the battery is in the discharge state. As the battery charges, the lithium leaves the cathode particle, making its way through the liquid electrolyte, passing through the pores of the separator on its way to the anode. At the anode, the lithium enters the anode particle. The sheets of carbon host the lithium until the energy is needed, with six carbon atoms holding a single lithium ion. Now let's see how solid state batteries work. There are two main layers, a cathode or positive electrode with an electrical contact and a solid state ceramic separator, which replaces the porous polymer separator found in common lithium ion batteries. The lithium leaves the cathode traveling through the atomic lattice of the non porous solid state ceramic separator. Once the lithium is through the separator, it deposits between the separator and the electric contact, forming an anode of pure metallic lithium. A lithium metal anode allows the energy of the solid state battery to be stored in a smaller volume, enabling a higher energy density compared to conventional lithium ion batteries. Bloomberg predicts that the lithium ion battery demand will surpass 2.8 terawatt hours per year by 2030. That's equivalent to the output of 80 Tesla gigafactories. Passenger electric vehicles will account for 72% of that market. Electric cars are expected to increase to 14 million in 2025 from 3.1 million last year. But why has the lithium ion battery not been replaced by a solid state yet? The expectations surrounding solid state batteries to vastly improve electric vehicles are high, to say the least. The use of a solid electrolyte is expected to drastically reduce charging time and save space. In the same space a lithium ion battery currently uses under an electric vehicle, solid state batteries are expected to have 2 to 10 times the capacity. Their construction also means that they don't require the monitoring, control or cooling that lithium ion batteries need to function properly. This means more space in the vehicle's chassis. The higher energy density of solid state batteries should increase the range of electric vehicles and they're expected to be safer and more durable over the long run. Toyota aims to sell its first electric vehicle powered by a solid state battery before 2030. QuantumScape is partnering with Volkswagen to push towards commercialization in 2024. One of the challenges lithium ion batteries are facing is their energy density. Gasoline has an energy density of 9,500 watt hours per liter compared to 600 watt hours per liter for lithium ion batteries. Traditional lithium ion cells use a hosted anode. That means that they need a host, such as silicon or carbon, to hold the lithium in place. For example, in the case of carbon, it needs six carbon atoms to hold one lithium atom in place. If you use an anode of pure lithium instead, that reduces the weight and the volume of the battery. So what about market developments? Every car manufacturer has electric vehicles on their business plan and expects solid state to be the future. But did you know that solid state batteries are already in use in public buses? The so-called Isitaro buses are manufactured by Mercedes-Benz. 
They have a 441 kilowatt hour LMP solid state battery. The battery is manufactured in France by Blue Solution, which is part of Bolloré. And Bolloré tested the solid state batteries back in 2015 in car sharing vehicles. According to Yahoo Finance, the global solid state battery market is expected to grow from 27,000 in 2025 to more than 660,000 in 2030. That corresponds to a KGAR of about 90%. It's almost obligatory to mention QuantumScape. The spike in the stock market price of QuantumScape has passed, and it'll be interesting to see where the company goes in the future. QuantumScape claims that it can increase the range of electric vehicles by 50% and reduce charging time to less than 15 minutes. In March 2020, Samsung had a major breakthrough, but we're still waiting for the electric vehicles to come to market. Their solid state battery has a range of more than 500 miles and can be recharged over a thousand times. A couple of weeks ago, CNBC reported that Stellantis invests 35.5 billion US dollars in the development of electric vehicles. It joins automakers like General Motors, Ford and Volkswagen that all invested, invest in the tens of billions of dollars. The automaker has 14 brands including Jeep, Ram, Fiat, Peugeot and Maserati. While solid state batteries for commercial use in electric vehicles are still under development, lithium ion batteries are being significantly improved. Lithium ion batteries have seen a drastic decrease in production costs in the past decade. In 2020, battery pack prices of less than $100 dollars per kilowatt hour have been reported for the first time. On a volume weighted average basis, battery of electric vehicle pack prices are at $126 per kilowatt hour. Recently, researchers at the Pacific Northwest Celebrity have had a breakthrough that they believe will enable electric vehicle batteries to hold twice the energy compared to their lithium ion traditional counterparts. And Tesla launched the 4680 battery, which enables charging from 10 to 80% in less than 15 minutes. Just like the ion, the 4680 doesn't use cobalt. That's important because cobalt is a hazardous and toxic mineral. That's it for now about solid state batteries. If you'd like to learn more about technology and climate impact, please subscribe. And if you like my content and would like to support the channel, please click on the Patreon link below. Let me know what your thoughts are on solid state batteries and see you in the next video. Bye.